My customer asked me if I could repair the holes made by the electrician in her wall over the sink. So using five minute mud and fiberglass mesh tape, I filled in the very jagged hole made by the electrician around this circular opening that you're looking at. I filled it in with five minute mud. After that, I feathered out the area by applying a thin coat of five minute mud the way you would a skim coat with the intention of putting new texture on it. You see me using what masons use. It's called a sponge float. That sort of scratches the hard compound and makes it easier for me to make it smooth. And then I take a sponge and get out the lines that are made by the sponge float, which is what you see me doing right here. Right now, we're ready to apply the texture with the spray can. Now you can save a lot of time by not choosing to set up a compressor and a hopper, by just go and getting the can with the texture in it. And that's what I suggest for repairs. It's a time saver because you don't have to do all of that cleanup. And so I'm just smoothing it out by especially putting my attention at the edges. The edges are where you're going to see your repair. Okay? So you take the sponge float, particularly when you're when you're working with two different surfaces. Right now, we're going from smooth out to the texture. So when you have that transition, see what I'm doing there? When you have that transition from smooth out to the texture, that float gets into those nooks and crannies and smooths out your repair and doesn't leave a ridge. The sponge just cleans up the mess, so to speak, that you make by using the green sponge flow. And you'll see at the end of this video how beautifully it came out. Now, you'll notice that I'm not using sandpaper and waiting for the surface to dry, right? Have you thought about that? I hope so. Sandpaper is not going to smooth out a joint compound repair that is over texture. It's really not going to do the trick. You need something that will get into the nooks and crannies, either with, at the very least, a nice wet sponge that will press into the nooks and crannies or that green sponge float. Now, what I suggest that you do is test out the texture on a surface other than the one where you're doing the repair. This way you get to test out the pressure in the can and see how it's coming out. And then you adjust the dial on that can. You see it went a little thick there. Off video, I sponged that off. And you'll get the trick. This isn't rocket science. Trust your stuff. You can do it. And just watch the video and just trust yourself and have confidence that you can do it. And you'll see that you can. Now in this case, you'll notice that the repair was small, but that the wall was also small. So guess what? You should do the whole wall. And why is that? Do you realize that if you're a little off in matching the texture on a small wall, you will see it big time. But if you just go ahead and do the entire wall, you save yourself a lot of time in trying to do it over again, and it all matches. Okay, let's get back to the video. After you're satisfied that you've sprayed enough texture and that it matches, just clean your can off 
the can from which the texture comes because the tip hardens up real quickly. And just checking out with a light going from all different angles to see if your texture matches. If not, get right back to it because the stuff dries really quickly and you want to be able to paint it right away. This is a really quick repair that you can do like a professional.